Tyrakairapali pronunciation, formerly Trichinopoly in English, also called Trichy, is a major Tier 2 city in the Indian state of Tamil Nadu and the administrative headquarters of Tyrakairapali district. Trichy is the fourth largest city as well as the fourth largest urban agglomeration in the state. Located 322 kilometers 200 miles south of Chennai and 374 kilometers 232 miles north of Kanyakumari, Tiruchirappalli sits almost at the geographic center of the state. The Kaveri Delta begins 16 kilometers 9.9 .9 miles west of the city where the Kaveri River splits into two, forming the island of Srirangam, which is now incorporated into the Tiruchirappalli City Municipal Corporation. Occupying 167.23 square kilometers, 64.57 square miles, the city was home to 916,857 people in 2011. Tiruchirappalli's recorded history begins in the 3rd century BC when it was under the rule of the Cholas. The city has also been ruled by the Pandyas, Pallavas, Mutharayars, Vijayanagar Empire, Nayak dynasty, the Carnatic state and the British. The most prominent historical monuments in Tiruchirappalli include the Rockfort, the Ranganathaswamy Temple at Srirangam and the Jambukaswarar Temple at Thiruvannikaval. The archaeologically important town of Uraiyur, capital of the early Cholas, is now a suburb of Tiruchirappalli. The city played a critical role in the Carnatic Wars between the British and the French East India Companies. The city is an important educational centre in the state of Tamil Nadu and houses nationally recognised institutions such as Indian Institute of Management IIMT, Indian Institute of Information Technology IIIT, and National Institute of Technology NITT. Industrial units such as Bharat Heavy Electricals Limited BHEL, Golden Rock Railway Workshop, Ordnance Factory Tiruchirappalli and Heavy Alloy Penetrator Project have their factories in the city. The presence of a large number of energy equipment manufacturing units in and around the city has earned it the title of Energy Equipment and Fabrication Capital of India. Tiruchirappalli is internationally known for a brand of cheroot known as the Trichinopoly cigar, which was exported in large quantities to the United Kingdom during the 19th century. A major road and railway hub in the state, the city is served by the Tiruchirappalli International Airport (TRZ), which operates flights to the Middle East and Southeast Asia. Topic <inaudible> etymology. <inaudible> <inaudible> According to Hindu mythology, Tiruchirappalli derives its name from the three-headed demon Trishira, who meditated on the Hindu god Shiva near the present-day city to obtain favors from the god. An alternative derivation, not universally accepted, is that the source of the city's name is the Sanskrit word, Trishirapuram. Trishira, meaning, three-headed, and Pali or Puram meaning, city. Telugu scholar C. P. Brown has proposed that Tiruchirappalli might be a derivative of the word Charuta Pali meaning, little town. Orientalists Henry Yule and Arthur Coke Burnell have speculated that the name may derive from a rock inscription carved in the 16th century in which Tiruchirappalli is written as Tirusilla Pali, meaning, Holy Rock Town, in Tamil. Other scholars have suggested that the name Tiruchirappalli is a rewording of Tiru Chinna Pali, meaning, Holy Little Town. The Madras glossary gives the root as Tiruchinapalli or the Holy Tiru village Pali of the Sheena Pereira plant. Historically, Tiruchirappalli was commonly referred to in English as Trichinopoly. The shortened forms Trichy or Taruchi are used in common parlance, and the full name Tiruchirappalli appears in official use by government and quasi-government departments, but seldom by the native people. History <inaudible> 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 Early and medieval history Tiruchirappalli is one of the oldest inhabited cities in Tamil Nadu, its earliest settlements date back to the 2nd millennium BC. Uraiyur, the capital of the early Cholas for 600 years from the 3rd century BC onwards, is a suburb of present-day Tiruchirappalli. The city is referred to as Orthora by the historian Ptolemy in his 2nd century work Geography. 
The world's oldest surviving dam, the Kalanai Lower Anakit, about 18 kilometers (11 miles) from Uraiyur, was built across the Kaveri River by Karakala Chola in the 2nd century AD. The medieval history of Tiruchirappalli begins with the reign of the Pallava king Mahendravarman I, who ruled over South India in the 6th century AD and constructed the rock-cut cave temples within the Rockfort. Following the downfall of the Pallavas in the 8th century, the city was conquered by the medieval Cholas, who ruled until the 13th century. After the decline of the Cholas, Tiruchirappalli was conquered by the Pandyas, who ruled from 1216 until their defeat in 1311 by Malik Kafir, the commander of Alladin Kilji. The victorious armies of the Delhi Sultanate are believed to have plundered and ravaged the region. The idol of the Hindu god Ranganatha in the temple of Srirangam vanished at about this time and was not recovered and reinstated for more than 50 years. Tiruchirappalli was ruled by the Delhi and Madurai Sultanates from 1311 to 1378, but by the middle of the 14th century the Madurai Sultanate had begun to fall apart. Gradually, the Vijayanagar Empire established supremacy over the northern parts of the kingdom, and Tiruchirappalli was taken by the Vijayanagar prince Kumara Kampana Udayar in 1371. The Vijayanagar Empire ruled the region from 1378 until the 1530s, and played a prominent role in reviving Hinduism by reconstructing temples and monuments destroyed by the previous Muslim rulers. Following the collapse of the Vijayanagar Empire in the early part of the 16th century, the Madurai Nayak Kingdom began to assert its independence. The city flourished during the reign of Vishwanatha Nayak c. 1529-1564, who is said to have protected the area by constructing the Tepakulam and building walls around the Srirangam temple. His successor Kumara Krishnapa Nayaka made Tiruchirappalli his capital, and it served as the capital of the Madurai Nayak kingdom from 1616 to 1634 and from 1665 to 1736. In 1736, the last Madurai Nayak ruler, Meenakshi, committed suicide, and Tiruchirappalli was conquered by Chanda Sahib. He ruled the kingdom from 1736 to 1741, when he was captured and imprisoned by the Marathas in the siege of Tiruchirappalli led by General Raguji Bansal under the orders of Chhatrapati Shahu. Chanda Sahib remained prisoner for about eight years before making his escape from the Maratha Empire. Tiruchirappalli was administered by the Maratha general Marari Rao from 1741 to 1743, when it was acquired by the Nizam of Hyderabad, who bribed Rao to hand over the city. Nizam appointed Khwaja Abdullah as the ruler and returned to Golconda. When the Nawab of the Carnatic Muhammad Ali Khan Walaja was dethroned by Chanda Sahib after the Battle of Amber 1749, the former fled to Tiruchirappalli, where he set up his base. The subsequent siege of Tiruchirappalli (1751–1752) by Chanda Sahib took place during the Second Carnatic War between the British East India Company and Muhammad Ali Khan Walaja on one side, and Chanda Sahib and the French East India Company on the other. The British were victorious, and Walaja was restored to the throne. During his reign, he proposed renaming the city Natharnagar after the Sufi saint Nathar Valley, who is thought to have lived there in the 12th century AD. Tiruchirappalli was invaded by Nanjaraja Wodyar in 1753 and Hyder Ali of the Mysore Kingdom in 1780, both attacks repulsed by the troops of the British East India Company. A third invasion attempt, by Tipu Sultan—son of Hyder Ali—in 1793, was also unsuccessful. He was pursued by British forces led by William Meadows, who thwarted the attack. British rule The Carnatic Kingdom was annexed by the British in July 1801 as a consequence of the discovery of collusion between Tipu Sultan—an enemy of the British—and Umdat ul Umra, son of Walaja and the Nawab at the time, during the Fourth Anglo-Mysore War. Trichinopoly was incorporated into the Madras Presidency the same year, and the district of Trichinopoly was formed, with the city of Trichinopoly or Tiruchirappalli as its capital. During the Company Raj and later the British Raj, Tiruchirappalli emerged as one of the most important cities in India. According to the 1871 Indian census the first in British India Tiruchirappalli had a population of 76,530, making it the second largest city in the presidency after the capital of Madras. It was known throughout the British Empire for its unique variety of cheroot, known as the Trichinopoly cigar. 
Tiruchirappalli was the first headquarters for the newly formed South Indian Railway Company in 1874 until its relocation to Madras in the early 20th century. Trichinopoly during the British Raj Topic: Contemporary and modern history Tiruchirappalli played an active role during the pre-independence era. There were a number of strikes and nonviolent protests during the Quit India movement, notably the South Indian Railway strike that took place in 1928. The city was the base for the Veteranyam Salt March initiated by C. Rajagopalachari in parallel with the Dandi March in 1930. Tiruchirappalli was an epicenter of the anti-Hindi agitations of Tamil Nadu when a team of Tamil language supporters gathered and organized a rally from the city to Madras in 1938. Later in 1965, Tiruchirappalli was made the base of the Madras State Anti-Hindi Conference, convened by C. Rajagopalachari. The population of Tiruchirappalli continued to grow rapidly, achieving a growth rate of 36.9% during the period 1941–51. After independence in 1947, Tiruchirappalli fell behind other cities such as Salem and Coimbatore in terms of growth. Tiruchirappalli remained a part of Madras state, which was renamed Tamil Nadu in 1969. The city underwent extensive economic development in the 1960s with the commissioning of Bharat Heavy Electricals Limited. In the early 1980s, M. G. Ramachandran, then Chief Minister of Tamil Nadu drafted a plan to move the state's administrative headquarters to Tiruchirappalli. A satellite town was developed near Navalpattu on the outskirts of the city, but the proposed move was shelved by successive governments. Like much of Tamil Nadu, Tiruchirappalli remains prone to communal tensions based on religion and ethnicity. There have been occasional outbreaks of violence against Sri Lankans. In 2009, the offices of a Sri Lankan airline were attacked in the city. In September 2012, two groups of Sri Lankan pilgrims who had visited the Basilica of Our Lady of Good Health in Velikani and the Pundi Mata Basilica had their buses attacked in Tiruchirappalli by a group of Tamil activists. Owing to a series of terrorist attacks in Indian cities since 2000, security has been increased at sites such as Sri Ranganathaswamy Temple. <laughs> Geography and climate Tiruchirappalli is situated in central southeastern India, almost at the geographic centre of the state of Tamil Nadu. The Kaveri Delta begins to form 16 kilometres west of the city where the river divides into two streams—the Kaveri and the Kaladam—to form the island of Srirangam. By road it is 912 kilometers 567 miles south of Hyderabad 322 kilometers 200 miles southwest of Chennai and 331 kilometers 206 miles southeast of Bangalore The topology of Tiruchirappalli is almost flat with an average elevation of 88 meters 289 feet a few isolated hillocks rise above the surface, the highest of which is the Rockfort. Its estimated age of 3,800 million years makes it one of the oldest rocks in the world. Other prominent hillocks include the Golden Rock, Kajamalai, and one each at Uyakondan Tirumalai and Tiruvurumbur. The two major rivers draining Tiruchirappalli are the Kaveri and its tributary the Kaladam, but the city is also drained by the Uyakondan Channel, Koraiyar, and Kudamariti River channels. The land immediately surrounding the Kaveri River, which crosses Tiruchirappalli from west to east, consists of deposits of fertile alluvial soil on which crops such as finger millet and maize are cultivated. Further south, the surface is covered by poor quality black soil. A belt of Cretaceous rock known as the Trichinopoly Group runs to the northeast of the city, and to the southeast there are layers of Archean rocks, granite and gneiss covered by a thin bed of conglomeratic laterite. The region falls under seismic zone 3, which is moderately vulnerable to earthquakes. <inaudible> <inaudible> Urban structure The city of Tiruchirappalli lies on the plains between the Chevroy Hills to the north and the Palani Hills to the south and southwest. Tiruchirappalli is completely surrounded by agricultural fields. Densely populated industrial and residential areas have recently been built in the northern part of the city, and the southern edge also has residential areas. 
The older part of Tiruchirappalli, within the Rockfort, is unplanned and congested while the adjoining newer sections are better executed. Many of the old houses in Srirangam were constructed according to the Shilpa Sastras, the canonical texts of Hindu temple architecture. Climate Tiruchirappalli experiences a tropical savanna climate designated ah under the Köppen climate classification with no major change in temperature between summer and winter. The climate is generally characterized by high temperature and low humidity. With an annual mean temperature of 28.9 degrees Celsius .0 degrees Fahrenheit and monthly average temperatures ranging between 25 degrees Celsius degrees Fahrenheit and 32 degrees Celsius degrees Fahrenheit, the city is the hottest in the state. The warmest months are from April to June, when the city experiences frequent dust storms. As of November 2013, the highest temperature ever recorded in Tiruchirappalli was 43.9 degrees Celsius .0 degrees Fahrenheit, which occurred on 2 May 1896, the lowest was observed on 6 February 1884 at 13.9 degrees Celsius .0 degrees Fahrenheit. The high temperatures in the city have been attributed to the presence of two rivers—Kaveri and Kaladam—and the absence of greenery around the city. As Tiruchirappalli is on the Deccan Plateau the days are extremely warm and dry, evenings are cooler because of cold winds that blow from the southeast. From June to September, the city experiences a moderate climate tempered by heavy rain and thundershowers. Rainfall is heaviest between October and December because of the northeast monsoon winds, and from December to February the climate is cool and moist. The average annual rainfall is 841.9 mm in, slightly lower than the state's average of 945 mm in. Fog and dew are rare and occur only during the winter season. Demographics <inaudible> 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 According to the 2011 Indian census, Tiruchirappalli had a population of 847,387, 9.4% of whom were under the age of 6, living in 214,529 families within the municipal corporation limits. The recorded population density was 5768 per square kilometers, 14940 per square miles, while the sex ratio was 975 males for every 1000 females. The Tiruchirappalli urban agglomeration had a population of 1,022,518 and was ranked the fourth largest in Tamil Nadu and the 53rd in India as of 2011. The city had an average literacy rate of 91.37%, significantly higher than the national average of 73.00%. Scheduled castes and scheduled tribes accounted for 10.48% and 0.27% of the population, respectively. There were 228,518 people, roughly constituting about 26.96% of the total population, who lived in slums in the city. The daily floating population of the city was estimated at around 250,000. The city's population is predominantly Hindu. Muslims constitute about 20%, and there is also a considerable Christian population. Sikhs and Jains are present in smaller numbers. Roman Catholics in Tiruchirappalli are affiliated to the Roman Catholic Diocese of Tiruchirappalli, while Protestants are affiliated to the Trichy Tanjur Diocese of the Church of South India. The most widely spoken language is Tamil, but there are significant numbers of Telugu, Gujarati, Kannada, Malayalam, and Hindi speakers. Saurashtra is also spoken by some significant minorities. The standard dialect of Tamil spoken is the Central Tamil dialect. There is also a substantial population of Anglo Indians, and Sri Lankan Tamil migrants, most of whom are housed in refugee camps on the outskirts of the city. <laughs> Administration and politics Covering 18 square kilometers, 6.9 square miles, the municipality of Tiruchirappalli was inaugurated under the Town Improvements Act 1865 on the 1st of November 1866. It originally consisted of 2 ex officio and 9 nominated members. 
Council elections were introduced in 1877 and the first chairman was elected in 1889. The municipality was upgraded to a municipal corporation as per the Tiruchirappalli City Municipal Corporation Act 1994 by inclusion of the erstwhile Srirangam and Golden Rock municipalities. Covering 167.23 square kilometers, 64.57 square miles, the municipal corporation comprises 65 wards and 4 administrative zones. These are Srirangam, Ariyamangalam, Golden Rock and Abhishekapuram. Tiruchirappalli City Municipal Corporation Council, the legislative body, comprises 65 councillors elected from each of the 65 wards and is headed by a mayor assisted by a deputy mayor. The executive wing has seven departments general administration, revenue, town planning, engineering, public health, information technology, and personnel and is headed by a city commissioner. The commissioner is assisted by two executive engineers for the east and west sections, and assistant commissioners for personnel, accounts and revenue departments, a public relations officer, a city engineer, a city health officer and an assistant commissioner for each of the four zones. A local planning authority for Tiruchirappalli was created on 5 April 1974 as per the Tamil Nadu Town and Country Planning Act of 1971 with the District Collector of Tiruchirappalli as Chairman and the Assistant Director of Town and Country Planning as its Member Secretary. The city of Tiruchirappalli is represented in the Tamil Nadu Legislative Assembly by four elected members, one each for the Tiruchirappalli East State Assembly constituency, Tiruchirappalli West State Assembly constituency Srirangam and Tiruvurumbur constituencies. Jayalalitha, former Chief Minister of Tamil Nadu, represented the Srirangam constituency between 2011 and 2015. Tiruchirappalli is also part of the Tiruchirappalli Lok Sabha constituency and once every five years elects a member to the Lok Sabha the lower house of the Parliament of India. The Lok Sabha seat has been held by the Indian National Congress for four terms 1957 62, 1984–89, 1989–91 and 1991–96, the Communist Party of India 1962 67, 1971–77 and 1977–80 and the All India Anna Dravida Munaitra Kazhagam 2001–04, 2009–14 and 2014–present for three terms each and Bharatiya Janata Party 1998 99 and 1999 to 2001 for two terms each. Candidates from the Communist Party of India, Tamil Manila Congress, and the Marumalarchi Dravida Munaitra Kazhagam have won once each. Indian politician Rangarajan Kumaramangalam, who served as the Minister of Power in the government of Adil Bihari Vajpayee, was elected to the Lok Sabha from Tiruchirappalli in the 1998 and 1999 elections. Law and order are enforced by the Tamil Nadu Police, which for administrative purposes has constituted Tiruchirappalli city as a separate district, divided into 18 zonal offices and units, with a total of 38 police stations. The Tiruchirappalli City Police Force is headed by a Commissioner of Police assisted by Deputy Commissioners. Law and order in suburban areas is enforced by the Tiruchirappalli District Police. It has the lowest proportion of rape and murder cases in the state. Economy <inaudible> 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 During British rule, Tiruchirappalli was known for its tanneries, cigar manufacturing units and oil presses. At its peak, more than 12 million cigars were manufactured and exported annually. Tanned hides and skins from Tiruchirappalli were exported to the United Kingdom. The city has a number of retail and wholesale markets, the most prominent among them being the Gandhi Market, which also serves people from other parts of the district. Other notable markets in the city are the Flower Bazaar in Srirangam and the Mango Market at Mambaja Salai. The suburb of Manichanalar is known for its rice mills, where polished pani rice is produced. Tiruchirappalli is a major engineering equipment manufacturing and fabrication hub in India. The Golden Rock Railway Workshop, which moved to Tiruchirappalli from Nagapatnam in 1928, is one of the three railway workshop cum production units in Tamil Nadu. The workshops produced 650 conventional and low container flat wagons during 2007 2008. A high pressure boiler manufacturing plant was set up by Bharat Heavy Electricals Limited, BHEL, India's largest public sector engineering company, in May 1965. 
This was followed by a seamless steel plant and a boiler auxiliaries plant. In 2010, the Tyrachiropoly unit of the company contributed to nearly 30% of its total sales, making it the largest of all units. As of 2011, the Tyrachiropoly division employed about 10,000 people, and is supported by a number of ancillary industries producing almost 250,000 tons 250 million kilograms of fabricated materials. These ancillary units together with BHEL contribute nearly 60% of India's steel fabrication, earning the city the title, Energy Equipment and Fabrication Capital of India. Other important industries in Tyrachiropoly include Trichy Distilleries and Chemicals Limited TDCL, which was established at Senthanirpuram in the former Golden Rock Municipality in 1966, and the Trichy Steel Rolling Mills, which was started as a private limited company on 27 June 1961. The Trichy Distilleries and Chemicals Limited manufactures rectified spirit, acetaldehyde, acetic acid, acetic anhydride and ethyl acetate. It is one of the biggest private sector distilleries in Tamil Nadu and produced 13.5 megalitres million imperial gallons of spirit alcohol between December 2005 and November 2006. The Ordnance Factories Board runs a weapons manufacturing unit and a heavy alloy penetrator project HAP facility, the latter was set up in the late 1980s and comprises a flexible manufacturing system FMS, the first of its kind in India. From the late 1980s, a synthetic gem industry was developed in the city. The gemstones are cut and polished in Tirukkarappalli district and in Pudukkottai district. In 1990, the Indian government launched a scheme to increase employment by boosting the production of American diamonds and training local artisans in semi automated machinery and technology. The local gem industry was reportedly generating annual revenues of 100 million rupees equivalent to 420 million rupees or 5.9 million dollars in 2017 by the mid 1990s. Concerns have been raised over the employment of children aged 9 to 14 in the gem cutting and polishing industry. As a result, in 1996, Tirukkarappalli district was selected to be involved in the National Child Labour Project and in the running of special schools to educate working children. As of December 2010, the Tirukkarappalli region annually exports around 262.1 million rupees, equivalent to 420 million rupees or 5.8 million dollars in 2017 of software. The Elkot It Park, the city's first IT park, Commissioned at a cost of 600 million rupees, equivalent to 960 million rupees or 13 million dollars in 2017, was inaugurated in December 2010. Set up by the Electronics Corporation of Tamil Nadu, the park occupies an area of 59.74 hectares, 147.6 acres, and constitutes a special economic zone. Topic: Culture. A resident of Tirukkarappalli is generally referred to as a Tiruchiite. Situated at the edge of the Kaveri Delta, the culture of Tirukkarappalli is predominantly Brahmanical, prevalent elsewhere in the Delta. With a substantial population of students and migrant industrial workers from different parts of India, Tirukkarappalli has a more cosmopolitan outlook than the surrounding countryside. The main festival celebrated in Tirukkarappalli is Pongal, a regional harvest festival celebrated during January. As part of the Pongal celebrations, Jalikatu, a bull-taming village sport played on the last day of the festival, is occasionally held on the outskirts of the city. Adi Puruku, Samayapuram Flower Festival, Vaikunta Ekadasa, Srirangam Kar Festival, and the Tepakulam Float Festival are some of the prominent festivals that are held locally. Bakrid and Eid al-Fitr are also widely celebrated, owing to the substantial number of Muslims in the city. Nationwide festivals such as the Gregorian New Year, Christmas, Deepavali and Holi are also celebrated in Tirukkarappalli. The 12th-century Tamil epic Kambaramayanam was first recited at the Ranganathaswamy Temple in Srirangam. In 1771, Rama Natakam, a musical drama written Arunachala Kavi and based on the Ramayana, was also performed there. Tirukkarappalli was home to some of the prominent Carnatic musicians, including Lalgudi Jayaraman, Srirangam Kanan and AKC Natarajan, and scholars such as T.S. Murayesan Pillai, Kandalam Rangacharayar and K.A.P. Viswanatham. 
Composers, poets and vocalists such as G. Ramanathan, T. K. Ramamurthy, Vali and P. Madhuri, who have made significant contributions to Tamil film music hail from the city, textile weaving, leather work and gem cutting are some of the important crafts practiced in Tiruchirappalli. Wooden idols of Hindu gods and goddesses are sold at Pumpahar, the crafts emporium run by the government of Tamil Nadu. The Trichy Travel Federation TTF was formed on 5 May 2009 to promote Tiruchirappalli as a favourable tourist destination. The federation organises an annual food festival called Suvai. Lack of infrastructure has been a major deterrent to the city's tourism industry. <laughs> <laughs> Landmarks Once a part of the Chola Kingdom, Tiruchirappalli has a number of exquisitely sculpted temples and fortresses. Most of the temples, including the Rockfort Temples, the Ranganathaswamy Temple at Srirangam, the Jambukaswarar Temple at Thiruvannikaval, the Samayapuram Mariamman Temple, the Irumbiswarar Temple, Nyelivanaswarar Temple at Tirupangnili, and the temples in Arayar, are built in the Dravidian style of architecture. The Ranganathaswamy Temple and Jambukaswarar Temple are often counted among the best examples of this style. The rock-cut cave temples of the Rockfort, along with the Gateway and the Irumbiswarar Temple, are listed as monuments of national importance by the Archaeological Survey of India. Considered one of the symbols of Tiruchirappalli, the Rockfort is a fortress which stands atop a 273-foot high rock. It consists of a set of monolithic rocks accommodating many rock-cut cave temples. Originally built by the Pallavas, it was later reconstructed by the Madurai Nayaks and Vijayanagara rulers. The temple complex has three shrines, two of which are dedicated to Lord Ganesha, one at the foot and the Uchi Pillayar temple at the top, and the Theyumanavar temple between them. The Theyumanavar temple, the largest of the three, houses a shrine for Parvati as well as the main deity. As per a legend, Vayu Bhagavan and Adisashan had a dispute to find out who is superior. To prove the superiority Adisashan encircled the Kailasam, Vayu tried to remove this end circle by creating Santamaruttham twister. Because of the Santamaruttham, eight Kodamudagal parts fell from Kailasam into eight different places which are Thiraganamalai Trincomalai, Sri Lanka, Tirukkalahasti, Thiruchiramalai Rock Fort, Tiruinkoimalai, Rajathagiri, Nirthagiri, Ritnagira, and Swethagiri Thirupangili. The Rockfort is visible from almost every part of the city's north. The Tepakulam at the foot of the Rockfort is surrounded by bazaars. It has a mandapa at its center. The Ranganathaswamy Temple, dedicated to the Hindu god Vishnu, is located on the island of Srirangam. Often cited as the largest functioning Hindu temple in the world, it has a perimeter of 4,116 meters (13,504 feet) and occupies 156 acres (630,000 square meters). Considered to be among the 108 Divya Dasams holy shrines of Lord Vishnu, the temple is believed to house the mortal remains of the Vaishnavite saint and philosopher Ramanujacharya. Originally built by the Cholas, the temple was later renovated by the Pandyas, the Hoysalas, the Madurai Nayaks and the Vijayanagar Empire between the 9th and 16th centuries AD. There are 21 Gopurams, towers, of which the Rajagopuram is 236 feet 72 meters. According to the Limca Book of Records, it was the tallest temple tower in the world until 1999. The Jambukaswarar Temple at Thiruvannikaval and the Irumbiswarar Temple at Tiruvurumbur were built in the rule of the medieval Cholas. The Jambukaswarar Temple is one of the Pancha Buddha stalams dedicated to Lord Shiva, it is the fifth largest temple complex in Tamil Nadu. The city's main mosque is the Nadir Shah Mosque or Nathar Shah Mosque, which encloses the tomb of the 10th century Muslim saint Nadir Shah. The Christ Church, constructed by the German Protestant missionary Christian Friedrich Schwartz in 1766, and the Our Lady of Lords Church, are noted examples of Gothic Revival architecture in the city. The Chokanatha Nayak Palace, which houses the Rani Mangamal Mahal, was built by the Madurai Nayaks in the 17th century. It has now been converted into a museum. The Nawab's Palace, the Railway Heritage Centre, the Upper Anakit constructed by Sir Arthur Cotton, and the world's oldest functional dam, the Grand Anakit, are some of the other important structures in Tiruchirappalli. Education <inaudible> 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 Tiruchirappalli has been recognised in India as an important educational centre since the time of British rule. 
St. Joseph's College, which opened in Nagapatnam in 1846 and transferred to Tiruchirappalli in 1883, is one of the oldest educational institutions in South India. The Society for the Propagation of the Gospel SPG College, established in 1883, is a premium missionary institution in the city. As of 2013, Tiruchirappalli has 45 arts and science colleges, 40 polytechnic colleges and 13 colleges that offer management education. The St. Joseph's College, National College, Bishop Eber College, Jamal Muhammad College and the Government Law College are prominent colleges providing higher education in the arts and sciences. There are approximately 35 engineering colleges in and around the city. The National Institutes of Technology, established by the government in 1964 as the Regional Engineering College, has a campus at Thuvakudi on the outskirts of Tiruchirappalli. The Anbal Dharmalingam Agricultural College and Research Institute was established as a constituent college of Tamil Nadu Agricultural University in 1989, and the National Research Centre for Banana offer higher education and research in agriculture. The Tiruchirappalli branch of Anna University was established after the bifurcation of Anna University in 2007. 64 self-financing colleges which offer courses in engineering, architecture, management and computer applications in the districts of Ariyalar, Kudalore, Nagapatanam, Perumbalar, Pudukatai, Thanjavur and Tiruvarur are affiliated to Anna University. The SRM group of colleges established the SRM Institute of Science and Technology at Irungalar near Tiruchirappalli. This was followed by Chennai Medical College and Hospital in 2007. A proposal by the group to include the institutions in SRM University is under review by the Ministry of Human Resources Development of the Government of India. The Bharathidasan University was established in Tiruchirappalli in 1982 and controls 104 colleges in Tiruchirappalli district and seven neighbouring districts. The university also runs a management school, the Bharathidasan Institute of Management in the city in collaboration with BHEL. The Indian Institute of Management Tiruchirappalli was set up during the 11th five-year plan, along with five other IIMs opened during the 2011-12 academic season. In 2013, the Ministry of Human Resource Development MHRD approved Indian Institute of Information Technology IIIT, and the Tamil Nadu National Law School, modelled on the National Law School of India University, both started their operations in the city. There are 200 higher secondary schools in Tiruchirappalli. Notable ones are the Campion Anglo Indian Higher Secondary School, St. Joseph's Anglo Indian Girls Higher Secondary School, St. John's Vestry Anglo Indian Higher Secondary School. Railway Mixed Higher Secondary School, Higher Secondary School for Boys, Srirangam and RSK Higher Secondary School. Notable people who were either born or educated at Tiruchirappalli include scientists C. V. Raman, A. P. J. Abdul Kalam, Sujatha Rangarajan, Vali, G. N. Ramachandran, and former President of India R. Venkataraman. Sports Hockey and cricket are the most popular sports in Tiruchirappalli. Former Indian hockey goalkeepers Charles Cornelius and Leslie Fernandez, Rahagopal Sathish who represents the Mumbai Indians in the Indian Premier League, and Dharmaraj Ravanan who represents Chennai City FC in the Indian Super League, all hail from the city. The Anna Stadium complex is the main venue for sports in the city, it hosts an indoor stadium and an Astro Turf hockey ground. The stadium complex also includes a football ground, an athletic track, a swimming pool, a gymnasium, a badminton court and a hostel for the athletes. The Tiruchirappalli District Cricket Association TDCA is one of the constituents of the Tamil Nadu Cricket Association, and regulates school, college and club cricket in the district. First class cricket matches were held at the Jawaharlal Nehru Stadium, formerly the Kajamalai Stadium. At the association's Golden Jubilee celebrations in 2008-09, plans for the establishment of another cricket stadium and an academy in the outskirts of Tiruchirappalli city were mooted. The Manarpuram Cricket Academy is one of the noted cricket coaching academies in Tiruchirappalli. Domestic association football, tennis and volleyball tournaments are held in and around the city. Tiruchirappalli hosted the Federation Cup, a knockout-style club football tournament in 1984 and an open chess tournament organized by FIDE in 2006. Media 
According to the Registrar of Newspapers in India, more than 100 newspapers have been registered in Tiruchirappalli as of November 2013. The weekly newspaper Wednesday Review, founded in 1905, is the first prominent journal to be published in Tiruchirappalli. Among the major English language newspapers being published in Tiruchirappalli are The Hindu, which launched a Tiruchirappalli edition in 2004, and The New Indian Express, which was publishing in Tiruchirappalli before The Hindu. Some of the important Tamil language newspapers that publish a Tiruchirappalli edition are Dina Thanthi Dina Mani, Dina Malar, Malai Malar, Dinakaran, Tamil Marasu, and Tamil Sudar. The popular Tamil weekly Ananda Vikatan launched a local supplement for Tiruchirappalli in 2011. The first radio transmission station in Tiruchirappalli was opened by All India Radio on 16 May 1939. AIR started providing direct-to-home enabled radio broadcasting service from 2006. In 2007, the AIR launched Ragam, a separate Carnatic music station, from the city. Apart from the government-owned AIR, private FM radio stations such as Hello FM and Surian FM broadcast from Tiruchirappalli. Indira Gandhi National Open University's Gyan Vani started broadcasting from the city in 2008. Tiruchirappalli's first campus community radio station was started by Holy Cross College on the 22nd of December 2006. Television broadcasting from Chennai was started on the 15th of August 1975. Satellite television channels have been available since 1991. Direct to home cable television services are provided by DD Direct Plus and various other operators. Topic Utility services Electricity supply to the city is regulated and distributed by the Tamil Nadu Electricity Board Tiruchirappalli is the headquarters of the Trichy region of TNEB. The city and its suburbs form the Trichy Metro Electricity Distribution Circle, which is subdivided into six divisions. A chief distribution engineer is stationed at the regional headquarters at Tenor. Water supply is provided by the Tiruchirappalli City Corporation. The city gets its drinking water supply from the Kaveri River and 1,470 bore wells linked to 60 service reservoirs in and around the city. Four of the six head works from which the city gets its water supply are maintained by the municipal corporation and the rest by other agencies. Pollution has been a major concern in Tiruchirappalli. The Tamil Nadu Pollution Control Board has set up five stations in the city to check the quality of air. As of 2012, about 432 tons kilograms of solid waste are produced in the city every day. Solid waste management in the city is handled by the corporation. Places such as the Gandhi Market, Central Bus Terminus and the Chathram Bus Terminus are being monitored by other agencies. The principal landfill is at Aryamangalam. Waste water management in the Trichy Srirangam Underground Drainage UGD areas is handled by the Tamil Nadu Water Supply and Drainage Board TWAD and in other areas by the Tiruchirappalli Municipal Corporation. As of 2013, there were a total of 40,580 UGD connections maintained by the Municipal Corporation. The high toxicity of the waste water released by the Trichy Distilleries and Chemicals Limited TDCL is a major cause of concern for the corporation. The corporation's annual expenditure for the year 2010-11 was estimated to be 1,559.4 million rupees equivalent to 2.3 billion rupees or $32 million in 2017. In 2013, researchers from Bharathidasan University assessed water quality in the Tiruchirappalli area and concluded that although the quality of the groundwater was suitable for human consumption, the quality of the pond water in the city was not fit for human usage, agricultural or industrial purposes. Under the National Urban Sanitation Policy, Tiruchirappalli was ranked sixth in India and first in Tamil Nadu on the basis of sanitation for the year 2009-10. In January 2010, Tiruchirappalli became the first city in India where open defecation was prevented in all its slums. In a 2016 survey conducted by the Ministry of Urban Development, as a part of the Swachh Bharat Abhiyan campaign, Tiruchirappalli was ranked third in the list of cleanest cities in India. Tiruchirappalli comes under the Taruchi Telecom District of the Bharat Sanchar Nigam Limited, India's state owned telecom and internet services provider. 
There are about 20,000 business telephone subscribers in the city. Both Global System for Mobile Communications (GSM) and Code Division Multiple Access (CDMA) mobile services are available. BSNL also provides broadband internet services. BSNL began offering wireless internet services with the commencement of Evolution Data Optimized (EVDO) transmission in 2008. Tiruchirappalli is one of the few cities in India where BSNL's caller line identification CLI based internet service Net1 is available. Softnet STPI, Tata VSNL, Bharti and Reliance are other major broadband internet service providers in the city. Tiruchirappalli has a passport office, the second in Tamil Nadu, which commenced its operations on the 23rd of March 1983. The office also caters to the needs of seven adjacent districts namely, Karur, Nagapatanam, Perumbalar, Pudukatai, Thanjavur, Ariyalar and Tiruvarur. Transport The most commonly used modes of local transport in Tiruchirappalli are the state government-owned Tamil Nadu State Transport Corporation buses, and auto rickshaws. Tiruchirappalli forms a part of the Kumbakonam division of the TNSTC. The city has two major bus termini, Chatram Bus Stand and Central Bus Stand, both of which operate intercity services and local transport to suburban areas. Tiruchirappalli sits at the confluence of two major national highways NH45 and NH67. NH45 is one of the most congested highways in South India and carries almost 10,000 lorries on the Tiruchirappalli Chennai stretch every night. Other national highways originating in the city are NH 45B, NH 210, and NH 227. State highways that start from the city include Shish 25 and Shish 62. Tiruchirappalli has 715.85 kilometers (444.81 miles) of road maintained by the municipal corporation. A semi-ring road connecting all the national highways is being constructed to ease traffic congestion in the city. As of 2013, approximately 328,000 two-wheelers, 93,500 cars and 10,000 public transport vehicles operate within the city limits, apart from the 1,500 intercity buses that pass through Tiruchirappalli daily. Tiruchirappalli suffers from traffic congestion mainly because of its narrow roads and absence of an integrated bus station. Passenger trains also carry a significant number of passengers from nearby towns. The Great Southern of India Railway Company was established in 1853 with its headquarters at England. In 1859, the company constructed its first railway line connecting Tiruchirappalli and Nagapattinam. The company merged with the Carnatic Railway Company in 1874 to form the South Indian Railway Company with Tiruchirappalli as its headquarters. The city retained the position until 1908 when the company's headquarters was transferred to Madras. Tiruchirappalli Junction is the second biggest railway station in Tamil Nadu and one of the busiest in India. It constitutes a separate division of the Southern Railway. Tiruchirappalli has rail connectivity with most important cities and towns in India. Other railway stations in the city include Tiruchirappalli Fort, Tiruchirappalli Town, Srirangam, Tiruchirappalli Palakarai, Golden Rock, Panmalai, Manjatidal, Tiruvurumbur, Uthamar Koval, and Pichundar Koval. Tiruchirappalli is served by Tiruchirappalli International Airport, IATA, TRZ, ICAO, VOTR, 5 km miles from the city centre. The airport handles fivefold more international air traffic than domestic services, making it the only airport in India with this huge variation. It serves as a gateway to immigrants from Southeast Asian countries. There are regular flights to Chennai, Mumbai, Delhi, Colombo, Dubai, Kuala Lumpur, and Singapore. The airport handled more than 1 million passengers and 2,012 tons of cargo during the fiscal year 2013-14. See also List of people from Tiruchirappalli Classification of Indian cities Kaveri Palam Puruvala Nalar Footnotes <laughs>